Okay, it's recording. Goodness, I, I, I got nervous all of a sudden. I can stop it. No, 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 keep rolling. I, I can't be more nervous than my girls uh, will be when they watch this. So, oh, girls, I, I thought I'd know what to say by now, but the truth is, I don't. If I know anything, I know you two have been fighting, probably moments before you hit play, but seriously, girls, if you're watching this, then I know that I've been the cause of more than a few fights recently. Megan, look at me, sweetie. Jordan, Megan, I know I wasn't the best father, not even the best example of a man for the two of you, and there's nothing I can do now to change that. I know that. But I do want to try to make right what I can. John and Misha, I know you don't know me, but I hope by the end of this, you'll know why I did what I did and why I've done what I've done. Where do I even begin? Well, first off, I know you've been wondering why your mother has been left out of all this. The reality is this is what she wanted. And I don't know what all she shared with you, but I hope you're open to hearing me and believing me when I say she chose this. Well, really, I put her in an awful position and then she did the same to me. <clears throat> Shortly after you were born, Jordan, I met and fell in love with another woman. And I had a child with her a year later. This was obviously very painful for your mother. It was painful for me. I found myself feeling things I'd never felt for someone I would have never imagined. It was confusing and complicated. And I shared all this with your mother. She tried forgiving me, but she just couldn't do it. More than forgiving me, Joan couldn't bear the shame of divorce or outside children. So she forbade me from seeing that woman and our child again. And I did what she told me for as long as I could. But no matter how hard I tried, I could not stay away from Melinda. John, Misha, I am so, there's nothing. I, I loved your, John, Misha, I did a terrible, terrible thing for terrible reasons. I let fear and ignorance and quite honestly, hatred keep me away from you and your beautiful, beautiful mother. And I've spent the last 26 years in complete and crippling shame. And it is still a drop in the bucket of the immeasurable amount of pain I have caused each of you. My wife learned of your arrival, Misha, and demanded that I cut you off completely. I tried to reason with her, but she threatened to expose my infidelity and my illegitimate children. And I was such a coward. I'm a coward even now for making this video instead of making the effort to meet you. I am ashamed and disappointed in myself. I didn't know how to stand to my truth and stand up to my wife. I did, however, manage to stand up for you, John and Misha. While Joan kept me away from you with the threat of exposure, she did not keep me from providing for you. You see, I told her that if I had to accept a life without you, she would not get a red cent of my fortune and that you would be named equally in my will in the event of my passing. But with everything going on in the world right now, I realize that I have to go a step further. Jordan, Megan, I leave our home here in New York, in New Orleans to you, to you to do with whatever you want. The rest of my estate, my properties in Mississippi, Georgia, South Carolina, my bank accounts, investment portfolios, all liquid and intangible assets, Everything, all of it will go to my children, John and Misha. Girls, all your life, I've been telling you to make your millions, and I hope you have. If not, you can always sell the house and split the profit. But my entire estate, um, my entire estate belongs to John and Misha, and it is up to them to do with it what they will. It is truly the least I can do, as I and this country have failed you. 
And hopefully one day, America will do what's right as well. <laughs> That's it, Brad. My father? What a prick! Um, unbelievable. Um, this is a lot to process. <laughs> I guess black lives really do matter. Seems so, Miss Williams. Seems so. Let's get down to business, y'all, shall we? I'm in high, came in.